In this video, let's see how we can parse XML data using PHP. In today's world, XML format is commonly used for two purposes, to display blog post feeds and for website sitemaps. In order to show you how it works, let me take the example of a blog post feed. So here I'm gonna open one of my blogs, which is made using WordPress. And then open the feed page. You can see that the address is domain slash feed. At first glance itself, you can identify that it's an XML document. It contains the list of posts recently published on this blog. So what I'm gonna do is I will take this document as an input, then parse it using PHP and then display the posts on a separate web page. Basically, that's how a feed reader application works. Back in the code editor, let's create a new file called showposts.php. Okay, then open PHP tag. We will use curl to fetch the feed from the remote URL. So let's define a new variable called URL, which equals the URL of the remote feed page. So URL equals coralnodes.com slash feed. Then we need to initiate the curl request by calling the curl init function and assigning its value to a variable called handle. Followed by that, we have to set a couple of options. The first one is the curl opt URL option, which sets the curl URL to the URL we have defined above. Then set the curl opt return transfer option to true so that it returns the result as a string. Set the curl opt follow location option as well to true so that the request follows any redirects to reach the final destination. For instance, HTTP to HTTPS redirect, non www to www redirection like that. In our case, we have set the exact URL. So there shouldn't be any problem even if we omit this option. Finally, execute the curl request by calling the curl exec function and pass the handle variable. Variable response equal curl exec handle. If everything goes right, the variable response should contain the XML response fetched from the remote URL. Finally, let's close the curl connection by calling the curl close function. Now let's try outputting the response variable using the var dump function. Then open a browser and go to the PHP page codelab.local port 8000 slash XML parse PHP show posts dot PHP and here it is. So our curl request is working as expected. Next we want to parse this response. Fortunately PHP gives a built in class called symbol XML element to do that. Here is the documentation for the class and you can see that the class has a constructor method which accepts an XML string as a parameter. So let's do that. Variable feed equals new symbol XML element and pass the response string. Output the variable feed and we can see that it's an instance or object of the class symbol XML element. And this object has several symbol XML objects nested within that in the form of class properties. For instance, here you can see a property called channel. Within that there is an array called item which contains 10 other symbol XML objects. And if we take a look at the XML data, we can see a corresponding channel tag as well as 10 item tags nested within that. Or in other words, what the symbol XML element class does is, it converts the XML tags into PHP objects so that we can handle them using the methods defined in the class. Also here an item tag represents an individual blog post and inside that there are several other tags such as title, link, date and description which stores the information about that particular blog post. So let's see how we can display the post title and description using these class methods. Back in the code editor, close the PHP tag and then open the HTML tag. Then let me set the document title as show posts from XML feed. Okay, to get the post items, we have to iterate the items array. So let's open a for each loop inside PHP tags. And from the object structure, we know that the items are within the channel property. 
so the for each loop becomes feed channel item that's the array as variable item then end the for each loop inside that let's add an article tag for each individual blog post then add a heading tag within that for the blog post title let's use the shorthand echo syntax to output it let me take a look at the document for the tag name and we can see that the title comes inside the title tag similarly the description goes inside the description tag while the date of publication is inside the pub date tag so the echo statements become item title and item description inside paragraph tags reload the page and we can see a list of blog posts with their title and description okay that's the basics let's add a few modifications suppose i want to show the published date and the author name as well below each post so let me add a new div element below the paragraph tag written by php echo name of the author once again let me check the document for the name of the tag it's dc colon creator that means it's a namespace tag the namespace is dc followed by on date of publication that is item pub date however if we reload the page now we will get a syntax error because it's not the correct way to access namespace tags that is the dc creator if we check the documentation you can see that in order to access such elements we have to use the children method this method finds the children of an element okay with that in mind let's change the echo statement to item children dc comma true followed by creator reload the page once again and this time we got the output without any errors written by abhinav on monday 4th july 2022 along with the time stamp if you want to change the date and time to a more readable format you can use the date time class variable dt equals new date time then pass the pub date variable then variable pub date equals dt format let me set a format which shows the day of the week month date as well as the year then change the variable in the echo statement as well reload the page and here it is written by abhinav on monday july 4 2022 open the chrome inspect tool and we can see the html tags we created using php Okay that's how you can parse an xml document next let's see how you can create an xml document using php taking a quick look at the xml sitemaps format we can see that it starts with the url set tag and within that there are multiple url tags which contains the location last modified date change frequency as well as priority back in the editor let me create another file called create sitemap.php For now let's use the same feed data to create the sitemap so i am going to copy the curl portion from the first file and paste it here okay now we will use this feed object to fill the sitemap details the next step is to create another instance of the class symbol xml element which represents our sitemap then pass the url set tags as an argument for the constructor method After that we want to add an attribute called xml namespace because if you check the documentation you can see that the url set tag has an attribute called xml ns which equals some url from the domain sitemap.org so let me copy it and paste it here next we want to iterate the post items within the feed object and add them within url tags So once again for each feed channel item as variable item url equals sitemap add child url what this line of code does is it adds a child url element inside the parent url set tag then call the add child method once again to add the location tag inside url 
Looking at the feed, we can see that the location is same as the link attribute. So it becomes URL add child within parenthesis loc comma item link. Finally, to save the new XML object to a string, we can call the as XML method. So saved sitemap equals sitemap as XML. Then we can call the file put contents to store the string to a file called sitemap.xml. Then open the page in a browser, create sitemap.php, which will run the code and generate the sitemap. Now if we check the file explorer, we can see the newly generated sitemap.xml file along with the tags we added such as URL set, URL and LOC. In addition to the LOC tag, let's try adding one more. So let me go back to the file, create sitemap.php. Before that, let's output the sitemap using echo statement, echo saved sitemap, so that the page won't be empty when we load it in the browser. Now inside the for each loop, let me add one more child element by calling the add child method. If we take a look at the sitemap specification once again, we can see that it supports another type called change frequency, which tells how frequently a particular blog post is updated. Search engines may use this information to set the crawling frequency. The supported values are monthly, weekly, daily and so on. Let's set it to monthly. So URL add child change FREQ comma monthly. Reload the page and we can see the new sitemap output. To view it clearly, let me open the page source and here it is. Now it contains both location and change frequency tags. The same can be viewed in the file as well, sitemap.xml. Before ending this video, let's discuss one more topic that is how to query an XML document for a particular tag or tags. For instance, I want to find and display all the title tags in this XML document. And from inspecting this page, you can see that the title tags are nested within RSS channel and item tags. So for such purposes, we can use the XPath method of the simple XML element class. The method allows us to traverse an XML tree. Let's see how you can do that. Going back to the editor, let me create a new file called findtitles.php. Then as I had done before, I'm copying the first part that is the curl portion from the previous file and pasting it here. Then call the XPath method variable titles equals feed XPath then inside parenthesis pass the path that is RSS channel item title separated using forward slashes. Let's do a quick var dump then open findtitles.php and you can see that it's already working. Let's display that using a for each loop. For each variable titles as variable title echo title. And here it is. In the same way you can query any tags within an XML. Okay, that's how you can use XPath to traverse XML documents. And I hope you learned how to handle XML data using PHP. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.